video, I'm going to give you some strategies for evaluating potential publication venues to ensure that they are legitimate. In recent years, the number of exploitative publishers, often called predatory publishers, has grown. These publishers often send unsolicited invitations to authors offering to publish their research for a fee. However, they do not offer any of the services provided by reputable publishers, such as editing, peer review, archiving, and marketing. They may also ask researchers to sit on their editorial boards or graduate students to publish theses or dissertations. Identifying a particular venue or publisher as legitimate or not can be tricky. Here are some questions to ask. Review past issues of the journal. Is the writing and research coherent, free of grammatical errors, relevant to the aims and scope of the journal, and copy edited adequately? Does the journal have a clear and appropriate scope? Scam journals often cover an extremely broad range of subjects. Is the peer review process used by the journal clearly described? Are any author fees clearly and transparently listed? Are editorial board members listed? If so, cross-check their institutional websites to ensure that their membership is verified. Is the venue included in your favorite library database? If you're not sure, ask a librarian. If you're still unclear, talk to peers and mentors. Ask if they are familiar with this venue or if they've ever published there. Librarians can also help by checking to see whether claims made by the journal, such as having an impact factor or being indexed in a particular database, are true or false. If you've been asked to contribute to a particular journal, book, or conference by someone you don't know, proceed with caution. Also, make sure to evaluate a publisher before you submit your work. Withdrawing work from a predatory publisher is difficult. Take a look around our guide at libguides.ucalgary.ca slash publishing slash home.